Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. We're here at Outdoor in the Arcturix booth and I've managed to catch up with Katie Whitaker, who's going to have a quick chat to us. So, Katie, how are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm here to have a few meetings with various people about some events that we can run in the UK. And then last night we also had like a catch up with the designers to give uh, some feedback and then we went out for a meal. So I understand that you've been a bit injured recently, so how's your rehabilitation going? Have you had to change your lifestyle quite a lot for this? Has it been a real sort of drag or how's things going? Yeah, uh, well yeah, I hurt my back last year and I could still climb so I carried on climbing but then realised that uh, it wasn't getting any better so I needed to stop. I've still been climbing but just doing like easy trad. Um, and now I've started some rehab so it's mainly just been like self massage and stretching for three weeks and then now I've started some physio exercises. Um, have you replaced climbing at all with anything? Like have you taken up video games or like watching ridiculous amounts of movies or something like that? <laughs> no, no. Uh, what do I do now instead? Bit of yoga. I just end up having cups of tea all day with friends. Well, I mean, it's not a bad way to spend your life, I think. Um, I've just got a few sort of short, silly questions I'd like to ask you if that's all right. So um, uh, would you say you're a hot weather person or a cold weather person? Hot, probably. I hate being cold. Chips or chocolate? Chips. Uh, would you say slabs or overhangs? Definitely slabs. Trad or sport? Trad. If you had to choose between having the head of a cat or the legs of a cat, which one would you choose? I'm just going to let you know that I've already asked your brother this and he gave quite an interesting answer. Probably go for legs. Why is that? Because I don't want a cat's head. You realise they're uh, tiny little legs and they, they wouldn't really be able to yeah, support you very well. They run around really easily and jump between things and it'd be really cool. They're really small. I think you'd, you'd struggle climbing with them, I think. <laughs> I'd struggle climbing with a cat's head. Katie Whitaker, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been a real pleasure and I'm glad that you uh, yeah, chose, the, uh, chose the legs. Although I do think you'd be able to climb with a cat's head because you can see, as you said before, you see in the dark. <laughs> yeah, true. Night climbing up, uh, up big walls in, yeah, in the dark. Have a tiny little head like you said, like as big as that might. <laughs> Thanks ever so much to Katie for uh, catching up to us. Uh, now we're going to go and take a look at one of the new Alpine boots from Arcteryx. Hello and we are at the Arcteryx booth and I'm here with Federico who's going to show us a little bit about the Acrux AR boot from Arcteryx. Federico, why is this boot so good? Uh, we did quite of an interesting work on this boot, I th we think for our most technical consumer and all the alpinists out there, which are looking for a missing uh, uh, product in the marketplace. So we have been trying to develop uh, the first low volume, uh, lightweight uh, alpinism boot with a removable liner. So we've been achieving to make a, a boot, as you can see with the volume of a single boot construction without a removable liner, with a weight of 930 grams, which is quite of a unique uh, product in this place. It's first of all, uh, the goal of it, again, is to be a completely hydrophobic material, which have been choosing for making it, such as PE or EVA. So that makes the liner extremely fast drying. The liner is fully Gore-Tex lined, so that makes it also completely waterproof. The whole uh, the front part of the liner is done with a very stretchable material, uh, which really conforms and adapts to your foot for a very precise yet comfortable fit, which is really key on this type of segment. When we have a look as well at the inner construction, if we open just one second the gator, uh, you will see, of course, the gaiter is a Gore-Tex gaiter, so it is a breathable, uh, waterproof fabric. And also, uh, the inner shell, uh, it's really, you can see, there's a micro perforation all over it, so that allows for a breathability between the liner, the inner shell, and then finally toward the gaiter. One very unique uh, construction of this boot, besides, of course, the internal one I already showed you, is really the uh, huge amount of work we put on the design of the bottom unit and on the durability of the lower section of the boot, which is definitely the most exposed to rocks, crampons, and all type of abrasions, because as you can easily see, the whole uh, heel part and the whole toe area, uh, it's basically injected TPU, which makes the boot extremely durable, a uh, lot of protection, and they really are very hard to collapse, even with the pressure of the crampon. Okay, so big question now. 
How much is it and when can people go out and buy one of these? So the suggested retail price of this boot, uh, uh, with the liner of course, <laughs> it's 600 euro. Uh, that's the suggested retail price. Uh, we're going to deliver uh, the beginning of 2016, most probably around February of 2016. So ready for the season. So there we have it. Here's the Acrux AR boot from Arcteryx. It's a great looking piece of kit. Maybe a little bit sinister for my taste. It almost looks a little bit like it would be worn by a Bond villain. Anyway, thank you to Katie for talking to us. We'll be back again next week with more videos from Outdoor.